Welcome once again to the Culinary Timeline channel, which is surely by now your favorite channel, food enthusiasts. Today we're going to talk about something very interesting as we embark on the flavorful journey into the art of refrying. Ever wondered what happens to your favorite dishes when cooked in the same oil multiple times over? Well, join us as we unveil the secrets that every health-conscious cook or even common person like us definitely needs to know. So let's head into the art of refrying, uncovering the secrets that simmer beneath the surface of that bubbling vat. Is it a culinary shortcut to golden glory or a health hazard disguised as convenience? Buckle up, my fellow enthusiasts, because for the first time ever on the channel, we're going to get greasy and surprisingly scientific as we unpack this unbelievable content and the amazing facts that lie within. But before we get started, hit that subscribe button, tap that notification bell, and let's get cooking. Quick question though, tell us, how often do you usually reuse already fried oil? Click on the poll icon now to give your side of the story. Now, let's get back to our topic. First things first, my friends, let's talk about what happens to oil when it meets the heat. At high temperatures, oil undergoes some serious transformations on a molecular level. The chemistry behind it is truly fascinating and it's crucial we understand it to appreciate the impact it has on our food. So buckle up as we break it down for you because it's time to get molecular. Imagine oil as a playground of happy little fat molecules holding hands, but crank up the heat and things get chaotic. Those bonds break, creating free radicals like tiny mischievous gremlins that wreak havoc on your health. Plus, some molecules morph into nasty compounds like acrolein, which are actually the culprits behind that burnt popcorn aroma. So what happens when you invite these gremlins to your next frying fiesta? Not a pretty picture. Now here's where it gets interesting. Reusing oil can have some surprising effects not just on your food, but also on your health. Scientifically speaking, we are talking about the formation of acrolein, aldehydes, and free radicals. Stick around because we are going to explore how these compounds can impact your well-being. And if possible, we want to put our taste buds to the test with a live taste comparison. More on that later. Anyway, those free radicals and their buddies can inflame your body, increasing your risk of chronic diseases. And let's be honest, reused oil just doesn't sing. Food absorbs those funky flavors, leaving you with a bitterness that no amount of ketchup can mask. But wait here, fear not fellow cooks. We've got your back with some practical tips on how to ensure that your oil is still good for frying. From visual cues to the scent of the oil, we've got the ultimate guide to ensure that you are always cooking with the best. And if you are wondering how to maximize the life of your oil, stay tuned for some expert advice on filtering and storage before you banish that oil bottle to the abyss as we talk savvy reuse. Keep an eye out for the telltale signs like smoke, darkness, and that suspicious burnt popcorn aroma. Strain it after each use to capture those crispy bits and store it in a cool and dark place. Remember that oil has its limits, so don't push your luck beyond three or four cycles. In fact, if you wait here for just a moment, we will have a live example for you to easily understand the whole story. But first up, we have a cautionary tale that will make you think twice before hitting that reuse button on your fryer. Picture this, a bustling kitchen, savory aromas wafting through the air, and a chef with years of experience renowned for their crispy delights. Now let's say chef had a secret ingredient, which is his or her trusty reused cooking oil. Chef believed in the magic it added to their creations. Little did chef know, a culinary storm was brewing. As chef reheated oil, a chemical ballet unfolded. The oil, once a pristine partner in flavor, underwent a transformation. It released toxic substances, a cascade of free radicals, and a dangerous dance of fat molecules breaking down. The symphony of change led to a crescendo that impacted health, which sadly, in result, elevated cholesterol levels, the birth of harmful trans fats, and a shadow lurking over the heart's well-being. But here's the twist in our tale. The impact wasn't the same for every dish. Battered foods, the knights in shining armor imparted fewer impurities than their breaded or flour-dredged counterparts. To salvage the situation, Chef learned the importance of straining and storing the oil in a cool and dark place. The fate of Chef's creations hung in the balance, but they soldiered on. As the oil aged, so did the Chef's wisdom. The decision to dispose of it became a ritual, guided by the oil's appearance, scent, and the subtle presence of foam. And beware the burnt particles. Reusing oil with burnt remnants was like adding a villain to the pot with a burnt flavor that haunted the dishes. So Chef, armed with a filter, waged war against food particles. And there you have it, a cautionary tale from the kitchen of Chef. The moral of the story? Listen to your oil, respect the signs, and don't let your favorite dishes fall victim to the perils of reused oil. 
Now that we know how refrying the oil affects our health and our daily lives, tell us, have you ever noticed such irregularities or experienced the above in your life? Vote in the poll right now. Now let's get back to our journey, foodies, and address some myths and misconceptions that might be frying up in your mind. Don't worry, because we're here to separate the facts from the fritters. Because in the kitchen, sometimes the myths are as sizzling as the oil itself. Let's address the elephant in the fryer, just like those deep frying myths that just won't quit. First up, no, adding a potato peel won't magically purify your oil. And contrary to popular belief, topping it up with fresh oil doesn't erase the gremlins lurking beneath. Remember, prevention is key. Okay, now time for the real deal. Time to put the theory into practice. We're putting our knowledge to the test with a live demonstration. Watch closely as we will fry up some goodies in both fresh and reused oil, dissecting the culinary metamorphosis. Watch as textures transform, cooking time shift, and that golden hue fades into a murky brown. So it's a science experiment worthy of the Culinary Timeline channel. Let's take a look. This is where you will see the magic, or science, unfold before your eyes. Now that we've mastered the art of refrying, let's also explore some healthier alternatives for those moments when you want to give your heart a break. Keep in mind, it's not like we're here advocating for a deep frying free-for-all, so here are some healthier options that keep your taste buds happy without the gremlins doing the tango in your arteries. Air frying, baking, and grilling. These alternatives not only bring out unique flavors, but also keep your dishes on the healthier side. Indeed, air frying, baking, and grilling are all fantastic ways to achieve that crispy on the outside and tender on the inside perfection without drowning your food in oil. And that brings us to an important question. Do you believe that these other frying techniques contribute to a healthy or even better, unique taste to the food or meal than the usual deep frying or refrying method? Feel free to carry on the discussion in the comments below. As we wrap up today, we can safely say that the art of refrying is a delicate balance between flavor, science, and health. As you embark on your culinary adventures, just remember to think critically about your cooking practices because it's of great importance and deep concern to you maintaining a healthy life. Now we turn it over to you. What's your go-to frying technique? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. So, the next time you reach for that oil bottle, just keep in mind that knowledge is power. Choose wisely, fry responsibly, and most importantly, savor the journey from sizzling pan to happy belly. Don't forget to leave a comment below with your favorite frying tips and tricks and hit that subscribe button for more culinary adventures. Thanks for joining us on this deep dive into the world of refrying. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up, share it with your fellow foodies, and don't forget to watch more videos on our channel for more mouth-watering content. Stay safe, foodies, keep enjoying those meals, and have a happy and healthy time in the kitchen.